How many bits are necessary to sample the image with the highest fidelity to the original? With a few bits, we can already represent a tree with a simple clip art. With a bit more bits, we can represent a tree made with computer graphics. However, if we think of how much detail we capture on a raw photograph, that's a lot more color variations. With complex images, more details are captured digitally, therefore consuming more data. If you need to compress these images to fit as an attachment for your email, which one would need to be compressed? If the carrier can only transport 25 megabits, the black and white tree and the computer graphics will definitely fit in that packet. However, the raw photo will need to be compressed to fit. Some details of the image will be lost, however, the full image will still be delivered to the destination. When working with video, there are several still images to be compressed in a sequence. Each of these frames will have different information. Some may be more complex with color gradients and a lot of details that need to be captured, generating a lot of data. Some can present less information and therefore could be compressed using less data, as more pixels would maybe have the same information. When estimating bandwidth, always reserve headroom for the traffic peak moments. It is also possible to reduce the amount of data by methods of chroma subsampling. Chroma subsampling is a type of compression that reduces the color information in a signal in favor of luminance data in order to reduce bandwidth usage without significantly affecting picture quality. 444 represents no chroma subsampling used, whereas 422 has every other pixel duplicated and 420 has bottom pixels copying top pixels. So, 444 will have the best image quality but the highest data rate, while 420 has the lowest quality picture but also the smallest bandwidth requirements. Each compressor works differently, so we will have a look at the current codec supported by Dante AV. However, as this is a modular course, please revisit this material in the future to stay up to date with future developments within the Dante AV family. The codec JPEG 2000 has been adopted for Dante AV Ultra devices. Commonly used in digital cinemas and live staging, it can compress an image with visually lossless quality. Optimized for 1 gigabit per second connections, the typical bandwidth is around 135 megabits per second for a 1080p 60 frames 422 image and around 540 megabits per second for a 4K 60 422. It is also possible to work with low bandwidth codecs such as the popular H.264 and H.265. With such codecs, the bandwidth is very modest, not offering a considerable impact on the network. Typical bandwidth is around 10 to 15 megabit per second for a 1080p 60 and 40 megabit per second for a 4K 60 frame per second image. Using a technique that analyzed the same image further down to its details on levels, JPEG 2000 delivers an encoded image that is nearly impossible to notice any difference when compared to the original in the normal screens and displays. Resolutions up to 4K 60 frames per second that would normally consume 8.5 gigabit per second with raw data could be compressed to a typical data rate of around 540 megabit per second, making this the ideal solution for media transport across standard 1 gigabit networks. The Intupix JPEG 2000 codec you will find in Dante AV Ultra products is implemented in over 65% of digital cinemas today. And just as a data point, the JPEG 2000 stream you were watching in the movie theater was probably about 250 megabit per second. So the image quality is great, but another interesting fact is that JPEG 2000 does not suffer from generational loss. So what does that mean? Maybe this is better explained with a chart. Obviously, if we have uncompressed content, there is no encode and decode, so no loss at all. Generational loss means that each time you encode and decode, you lose a little bit of quality. Many encoding schemes like MPEG suffer from this problem. You could think of it as making a copy of a copy back in the cassette days. JPEG 2000 does not have generational loss. That means at the first encoding, we have a visually lossless step, but there is no more loss after that. This is a tremendous difference for production teams, especially if the content goes through digital switchers, vision mixers, and other visual steps. 
Dante AVH will transport the compressed video coming from the H.264 or H.265 encoder inside the device. H.264 encodes macro blocks of 16 by 16 pixels, whereas H.265 uses coding tree units that can identify important areas on the picture with a 64 by 64 block of pixels. With a more efficient sampling technique, H.265 is usually half the bandwidth of H.264 and can still bring very good image results. On Device View Video Config tab, it's possible to limit the maximum bandwidth of a video stream coming from a Dante AV device. The harder you apply the compressor, the less data will be available to transport that image. Simple images such as text and solid colors will behave differently than complex images such as a camera feed or a high-resolution movie. Summarizing this chapter, Dante AV networks are codec agnostic. Dante video packets are neutral to the network, regardless of the codec. However, devices must match codec to subscribe. Each codec has advantages. Dante AV Ultra is low latency and professional quality video with a higher bandwidth. Dante AVH offers data efficiency in a more widely available codec. Video bandwidth depends on the image complexity. Graphics, text, and still pictures consume less bandwidth than multicolored, highly detailed images. Frame rates and bit rates are critical to data usage estimation.